Hey, what's up? So in the previous videos, we talked about canceling thunks before running them with the condition property you pass in the configuration object in the second argument for the payload creator. And if this returns it true, the reject action will be dispatched from the thunk with an error message says, says that says, sorry, it have been aborted, which is very nice. So that is based on a condition, but we also talked about canceling them while being running with the abort function. So you can actually dispatch the reject action with an error message that says, that says this thunk had been aborted while being running by calling the abort function. So this is nice, but it won't cancel the HTTP request itself. Let me show you what I mean. So, but before that, let's run npm one start for the act. So we can serve it here. And let's run the Polux API. If you don't want to use the Polux website, this website, I already added the API, the API sorry, here. So you just cd into that folder and npm install. After that, you will type npm run dev and this will run it on port 3001. But I want to add a delay by six seconds for each request. So I will do this command. And we have an, an endpoint for each entity like this. Super uh, simple. Okay, so this is uh, what I want to implement in this video. So when I click on the dashboard, then go to the users, as you can see, uh, now we have the pending, the, the pending for the dashboard data thunk have been dispatched. Then it have been rejected because I moved and because I removed, because I moved from that tab to the users tab and the dashboard component called actually the abort function. So this is why it had been rejected. And if you go to the to the action itself, you will see that it had been rejected and the error message is aborted. And this is actually the action itself. So the error, the name abort error and message aborted. And the user's action continued normally. It have been fulfilled. The user's thunk have been fulfilled. But if you go to the network tab and let's redo that again, let's go to the dashboard now, go to the users. Even though we do, we canceled the dashboard thunk, the request itself continued normally and the data had been returned. What if I want to cancel this? Let's say this is a, like, like a very expensive operation. What if I want to cancel that? Uh, and turns out there is a way. It's called the abort signal API. So I will put a link in the description for this page. You should definitely read it, but just notice it's not supported in Internet Explorer. But so uh, the the signal uh, the abort signal interface represents a signal object that allows you to communicate with a DOM request such as, such as fetch. Also, Axios will work and abort it if required via the via an abort controller object. So they have here a very good example. They are downloading an MP4 file. So, and they have this button. They named it abort button. And on a click, they will just abort the downloading process uh, itself. So that's very good. Imagine if you, are down, if you have a single page application and a button with a download. So you don't need the user to keep downloading the, uh, the file if he maybe, for example, navigates away or something. So we'll just cancel it. So very good example. And we will implement something uh, much more simpler, but it, I think it will give you the main idea. So just to recap again, we can cancel thunks themselves, but we can't at the moment cancel the HTTP request themselves that have been dispatched from the thunk, from the thunk right? I think that makes sense in that uh, when, when I put it in that words. So this Axios uh, request, we, can can, we can't cancel it at the moment by canceling the thunk. But what I want to do in this video to cancel the thunk with the HTTP request itself. So I will do it with Axios, then I will do it with the Fetch API, just to show you both. Okay, so now to do it in Axios, we need something called a cancel token. So it's just like a unique ID. You can think about it like that. It's an object, but uh, the cancel token is assigned to each Axios request and it's makes and it's like it's marked as something unique. So by that token, you can actually cancel it. So let me show you the code. I think encoded will make much more sense. So I'll define a variable called source and I'm just following the documentation, by the way. I'll put a link in the description for it. It's here, cancellation. It's super easy. So axios dot 
cancel token as you can see dot source and this will generate an object I will name the source and inside of it we have the cancel function this will cancel the HTTP request itself and we have the token I think yeah that's if you want to be this stuff from the token maybe I will do a video about that so let's just continue now with the sorry now with the Axios we need to pass a configuration object as the second argument so cancel token will be the to source to token and we can actually listen to the abort event that have been fired from the HTTP request itself by using the signal object that is that exists in the uh, funk API itself so we have the get state we have the dispatch we have the signal object and this signal object for this funk itself okay so if you, if you think about it we can like we are doing let me just show you the code I think it makes much more sense so on abort I'm adding an event listener on abort I will call the cancel function from the source and let me tell you what this is uh, what this do so basically you are linking the thunk abortion with the HTTP canceling this is what we are doing so when we are or when this thunk being aborted go and cancel this HTTP request that we assign this token to it I hope this makes sense so they are definitely they are like two different entities we have the thunk itself we have the HTTP request when you abort the thunk cancel the HTTP request this is what I am doing here I hope I hope this is uh, straightforward so let's see what now will happen when I abort actually a thunk so I'll go to the dashboard go to go to the users if you notice it have been cancelled very nice uh, I think this is very very good yeah this is maybe what you want now let me show you the same thing uh, with fetch now and after that we will just recap everything so commit all of that and with fetch let me show you how we can use it so const data equal the fetch API it's exist globally if you go here as you can see it's exist globally and I will go to the same endpoint like this now pass a configuration object cancel I think it's called signal yeah just pass the signal object itself and everything will work smoothly which is very nice now do then I'll call it res for response I'll convert it to a JSON now I'll add that and this is actually a very cool trick if you don't know about it so if you do this this will return the response itself and await it of course then assign it to data but if you attach this then function and return the returned value from the JSON which is another promise that resolves the data as JSON this will map this will work as a map function actually we are mapping this value into JSON and we are awaiting everything here so we are awaiting everything then assigning which is very nice so then can work as a map function sometimes in this cases so that's basically it actually so let me refresh everything go to dashboard go to users go to the network tab as you can see it has been cancelled and actually the browser tells us that this has been fetched or this is the fetch uh, API so yeah I think I think this is it but if, if I yeah I think for me I will use Axios or actually yeah it doesn't matter but I think this is very powerful so remove this maybe I will do an alert but remember you can dispatch anything from here so you can maybe create some reducers and dispatch the action that will be generated from them so you can do anything you want so very nice yeah let's 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 try that uh, it's not working maybe because uh fetch won't dispatch the abort action from the signal maybe that's it but in axios it will work if i was wrong about that i will create a video maybe but uh, yeah I will just use Axios and it's just alert yeah it's, it's a stupid example but I think you got the idea yeah we got the alert so you can dispatch any action from here 
yeah, there is a repo you can see the code, but just to recap, uh, we can we see we seen how we can abort a funk, but what if the funk containing an HTTP request? How we can cancel the HTTP request itself? The way we do it with the Signal API, and this is the page for the Signal API. You should definitely read about it. But basically, when each time we abort a funk, we will go and cancel the HTTP request that have been assigned with that funk. And with Axios, we can actually mark each HTTP request with a unique token. It's called cancel token. And we can just call the cancel function and that's it. I hope it's not that confusing. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Bye. There is still some concepts in the documentation, like reading the signal value. I think this is like dealing with big data or maybe downloading something big, stuff like that. They are using streams and uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I will try to understand it and maybe create a video about it. So yeah, I think we covered a lot in the create async funk and uh, that's it. I won't make it any longer. Bye.